Hey, it's moi. Before we begin, I want to thank everyone who has shown support for my channel. These past few months have been proof to me that there is potential for my content. I'm going to keep pushing myself to make better videos and sharpening my skills. So thank you everyone for your support. Now let's get into the video. If you did not do well in your standardized exams to get into your dream school, are considering community college over a four-year university, trying to figure out if school is right for you, or you just want to know the pros of going to community college. I'll break down five aspects I believe are crucial regarding community college and why I believe you should go to community college first and then transfer to university, especially if you're a STEM major. I want to start off with a solid mechanics stress analogy. In our early engineering courses, we take a class called solid mechanics. We learn about the deformation or the stresses within materials, which is force over cross-sectional area. And we use the stress analysis to determine the yield strength of that certain material. And from there, we now understand the max loading we can achieve to design systems around that material property. Now humans are more complex to analyze than steel, aluminum composites. There are more variables that go into our own stress calculations, but we can use this analogy to determine what makes us yield under stress. My point is sometimes it's better to push yourself or determine what makes you yield under stress when the stakes are much lower. For example, going to community college. You can take the same classes offered at university at a much lower cost and stress level. You can save yourself so much time, stress, and money by figuring out what is right for you. And this is where community college shines. Community college is a stepping stone. It's generally easier than universities because of the smaller classes and the connections between the students and professors. There are some classes that are difficult. For example, I took Calculus 3 at community college and university. It was a little easier at university because I had already taken it at community college. But overall, community college is more forgiving. For STEM majors, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, taking your general courses and your prerequisite classes such as calculus at a community college can help tremendously because the professors for general education courses at a university don't really care to an extent. Yes, they will help you, but they have their own research that's more important to them. At a community college, these professors are there to teach and help students. That's their job. My math and physics professor made it very easy to learn and understand the material, whereas at university, <laughs> it was a nightmare. University can be overwhelming for a freshman with the wrong mindset. You're accountable for your own academic career. No one is holding your hand throughout the university. Even the good study friends that you make may not keep you motivated. It's all up to you. Being a freshman with all this freedom and being surrounded by like-minded peers is a cool feeling, and I completely understand that. But it can also hurt students. If you don't treat school like a job and aren't determined, you may not have a good time in university. And community college can help with that academic mindset and give you some ease with all the overwhelming coursework your first few years. It's all about minimizing stress as a freshman and seeing how much you can handle before yielding. Universities have a lot of weed out courses in the beginning. These courses are designed to make students drop out or switch majors. For example, calculus, physics, and your early engineering courses, mainly your foundation courses. Most of these weed out courses can be taken at community college where it can be easier to manage a difficult workload. And if you're finding value in the information so far, be sure to give it a like, comment down below for any questions you have, and consider subscribing for more content similar to this. If you didn't do well in your ACT or SAT exams, you can reset your academic career by going to community college and getting a high GPA from the start. From there, you can still transfer to the school you want. Once you get into college, community, or university, it's your GPA and relevant courses that will allow you to transfer from one institution to the next. As long as you meet your desired school's academic policies, you can transfer with relative ease. So don't think, I didn't get into my dream school. You can still get there by transferring. And your chances aren't necessarily lower because you transferred from community college. It's mainly what you bring to the table. So if you meet or exceed the expectations the university requires, you'll have a good chance of being admitted. You're still competing against everyone who wants to get into your desired program. You now just have a better chance with a higher GPA and other relevant major activities, such as math club, for example. You can use this time at community college to reset bad habits and get your academic career in order. You also have a better chance at getting additional help from your professors, and they generally want you to succeed and transfer to university. Like anything in life, most of our actions are dictated by money. We buy the Toyota versus the Lexus because it's less expensive. We rent at place A versus B because it's slightly cheaper. We go to private schools in hopes that we'll make as much money as we can in a lifetime. And we'll go to community college in hopes to save as much money as we can. At the time of this recording, the USA's national student loan debt amounts to $1.7 trillion. And the less you contribute to that, the better. The average student loan amount is $33,000 with an average payment of $400 a month. This will take you about 83 months to pay off roughly or roughly seven years, not including interest. So 
a bit longer than seven years. So by going to community college, you'll save a lot of money and a lot of money is wasted for some students who go to university and never finish. It allows you to figure out if school is right for you before you spend tens of thousands of dollars. Some students go to university from the start and transfer back to community college for whatever reason. They paid a year's tuition at a university to come back to community college to figure out what they want to do. You're paying a lot less for the same class taught at a university and getting the same, if not better, learning experience. For example, calculus and physics, the classes I took at community college. You'll have to do your research and make sure the classes you're taking at community college will transfer over and are equivalent to the university's courses, but you can still take the equivalent classes offered. I talked about the true cost of student debt and why you want to minimize the amount of loans you take in my previous video. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know more about my student debt information. Now it's okay to miss out on the college experience for the short time being. You may miss out on that college experience, feel left out that your friends are at a four-year university having fun, but you've got to change that mindset. You know, this is how I felt whenever I was at community college and all my friends were at university. Just stay the course and you will get there in time. Now you need to determine what the college experience is for yourself. I believe everyone should have their college years to be enjoyable and memorable, but some things you can do at community college that you can do at university. For example, sometimes at university, people just go home after class. Sometimes at community college, people stay and study with classmates. People go off campus to eat and come back for class. There isn't too much of a difference regarding the on-campus college experience. At university, you're just with a larger group of like-minded peers who are studying the same thing, and that's a, it's a cool environment. I get that. Now, the off-campus experience is a bit different. Um, yes, there are more things to do off-campus and at night for sure, so there's a plus for university, but you can also hang out with your friends anytime you want, so it just depends on your scene, but don't let it screw up your academic career, both community and university. I had the mindset of community college makes me look like an idiot, and I thought that my school determined who I was, and for a lot of people, it does. I thought if I didn't get into NC State, I wouldn't amount to anything, but I'm glad I didn't get into NC State. I'm happy for everything that's happened to me so far. You know, things happen for a reason, and I had community college to thank for that. There's so much more to life after college, so this is just one chapter in your book. So guys, to summarize, understand your stress tolerance and what you can handle at an earlier stage will help your overall academic career. Community college is a smoother transition from high school to college, and you can always transfer to university later on. If you didn't do well in your standardized exams, you can still succeed starting from community college. So much money can be saved by going to community college first. You can figure out if school is right for you, and if not, you've saved yourself tens of thousands of dollars and your time. And it's okay to miss out on the college life for a few years. You'll get there soon enough, just stay the course. So guys, again, if you found value in this video, be sure to like, share, comment down below anything you have regarding community college or engineering. I get back to every single comment to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.